What do you think about when you think about testosterone? Big, strong muscles, really aggressive behavior, all sorts of crazy stuff, maybe. Or maybe you think about what I think about, which is men with low testosterone have double the rate of death from all causes as men who have normal testosterone. Low testosterone is dangerous. High testosterone isn't. But there's been some recent studies coming out that have said, oh, testosterone is just dangerous. It's bad news. You should just look out. It's, and I've gotten so many phone calls from patients that I treat because I do a lot of testosterone therapy uh, asking the question, some of them from the men, but certainly from their wives who are concerned, is this going to kill my husband? Is this testosterone therapy really dangerous? Well, there was a study in the uh, Journal of the American Medical Association in November, and it came out and said, you know, looking at this, you know, heart attacks go up with testosterone therapy. But they used the data in such a weird way. Basically, if you look at the raw numbers, actually testosterone caused heart attacks to drop pretty dramatically. But they didn't look at estradiol, which is the hormone that comes out of testosterone in men. If they get a high level of testosterone, they'll produce estrogen. And estrogen does cause problems in men because men aren't supposed to have high levels of estrogen. And you got to watch that. And sometimes your blood count will go up. You got to watch that. So a good doctor who knows what they're doing with testosterone can look at all those other factors and make sure that they don't come into play. And instead of getting any dangerous response, you get a positive, healthy response. Increased energy, increased muscle, which we know replaces fat, increased optimism, increased confidence, reduced heart attack and stroke, reduced serious illness issues, including dementia and brain problems. So if we're looking at the big picture, that November article from the Journal of the American Medical Association, it didn't distinguish between bioidentical testosterone, which is the good healthy kind that your body makes, or synthetic. And we know synthetic is a problem. Synthetic causes clots. Whether they injected it or used pellets or put it under their tongue or through a cream, or which way? Nobody has any idea what these results even mean. But the poor reporting of the media on this Regrettably, there's going to be a lot of men who say, I don't want to do testosterone. It's risky. It's just dangerous. Done right, it's safe. It improves your health. It reduces the risk of almost all disease conditions, but it's got to be done right by somebody with experience and training. Uh, my preference by far is testosterone pellet therapy. We do that all the time in the practice, and it basically creates a very stable, steady testosterone level. Uh, injection therapy works. It's really commonly done. It's been done for a long, long time, since the late 30s. Same with pellet therapy since the late 30s. And if you monitor estradiol, make sure it doesn't go too high and that the blood count doesn't get too high, then you're totally safe. Both of those problems can be easily addressed and still stay on testosterone therapy at safe levels. So when somebody says to you that testosterone therapy is dangerous, you let them know only if the doctor doesn't know what he's doing and he's not using the proper treatment. So get with a doctor who you know knows what he's doing because we're better together.